Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a little more of a different video. It's kind of a serious video. So I'm going to be explaining why I kind of have been posting a lot and what's really been going on in my life. So let's get right into this video. So on August 12th, I, so actually you guys saw my vlog on my Lena Jones vlog show. Um, if you didn't, go check it out. It's called, Well, That Was a Fun Night. Um, no, it's called, Well, That Was Not a Fun Night. Like, I'm pretty sure. And so, that was basically a video of me going to the hospital. But that was not on August 12th. That was a different day. And I was there for two days. Days later, actually, after, two days after my birthday, my birthday's on August 10th. On August 12th, we went to the hospital again for hypoglycemia because I have type 1 diabetes and so my blood sugars were super low so basically this is the night I almost died I got to the ER my mom was holding me because like she like picked me up because I was too shaky to walk because I was super low by the time we got there I was 65 um when we were at like the register place um, we got in, and we were kind of just relaxing there, and so the nurse, like, checked my blood sugar, I was 65, there was nothing they could really do, they were trying to get kids cleared out there, so they put me in, like, there's, like, these little beds that they put you in, um, with these curtains that you just wait in until you can get your own little room at the hospital, uh, not gonna share which one he wants, but yeah, and so... That was that. Um, also not the beach right now. Anyways, that was that. And so, basically, this hospital trip was between hypoglycemia and mental health. It was just kind of a bunch of things going through. I'm not going to share exactly all the details that happened. Long story short, we got into the ER, and I was um, 54. And so they gave me like the biggest two, they could put two IVs or something, then they put a third one, but they put the biggest things that they could find. Like, you know how there's those, um, things that they like shove down the IV tubes to give you fluids and stuff? They gave me like 10 doses of that, not 10 doses, but like, it's like a really big dose, like a big bag of it or whatever, like not an unsafe amount, but like the amount I needed to survive. And after two of those, it didn't work. So, I went actually to the lowest I've ever been in my life. The lowest I've ever been before this was 27, which in itself is not good. But I was completely responsive, hearing everything, like, okay when I was 27. But now, I, so now I'm in the ER, and I, um, they were going to bring me to ICU, intensive care unit, um, but there's not enough beds cleared up because there's so many kids. So that's why they brought me in a different thing. And this isn't good for your COVID and all, but anyways, they brought me into a different thing. And so, it was just the regular floor. Oh, and so, yeah. But... So basically, I'm not crying by the way, I'm just really tired. It's actually 3.28 a.m. and I'm bored from sharing my story. I wasn't going to share you this, I was a little hesitant. But I thought it was needed. I feel like you guys should know why I haven't been posting this stuff. What's that? Okay, so yeah. So, long story short, we get into the thing. And I'm just still in bed. Um, after so many of those tubes, I'm still not going up. They checked me again, and I'm like 54. Um, at that point, it was really bad. So, at that point alone, I was dripping sweat. I never have symptoms when I'm low, like, ever. I never feel like I pass out. Sometimes it's a little shaky. And I've been in Florida, that's it. I was sweating to death. Like, I was so hot. Sweating. Dripping sweat in the ER. And so... Um, that's fine. Everything was going okay. The nurses were doing their job. Actually, they had to, they pressed their call button that they needed more nurses in there to the point where, like, 
Like, I was at my breaking point. Like, if they didn't come in, I would die. So, I was, like, probably this close to death. And so, it's not, like, a scary story, by the way. It's not, like, to make any of you guys uncomfortable. It's not that big of a deal. It was back then, but it's fine, and I'm okay now. And, by the way, as I'm saying this, it is now September 3rd. So, this happened almost, like, a month ago. So, and I was there for five days. This happened when I was five, too. That was a different story, though. That was very bad. I should share that story after this one. Anyways, so what happened was they brought me in, and I was fine and everything. Well, I wasn't really fine, but I was in the room. I keep saying the same stuff. I was in the room. They put me in, and they checked my blood sugar again, and it said I was, like, 34, I think. And I was just dropping to the floor at that point. I just kept dropping. So, all I went down, I just dropped. And, oh, excuse me. I'm yawning now. Um, so, I dropped. And, yeah, I went to 34. And then I went back up to, like, 94. And I thought I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to shoot up now. I'm going to be completely fine. So, I thought wrong. They checked me again, and I was 25. That was the lowest I've ever been in my life. So after I was 25, they actually called. They didn't call like a trauma code, but they called code something, like code pediatric or something like that. So not code like as in dying, well as in dead, but like code as in I could right then and there. So I was about five minutes away from death. I'm... Obviously, so you're fine, but, yeah, so that's all awesome for all. But what happened was, 25, they checked, and everybody was pretty concerned. I was, like, just dripping sweat still, just bad. And so the nurses saved my life, and then I started going up, like, a lot. And then it was fine, like, after a lot of work, though, like, and it went to 54 in the back down, like, near the 20s, and then it went back up. So, yeah, so then, the next morning, actually, at about, like, 3 or 4 a.m., they brought me up to this thing. They brought me up to, um, the actual floor, and I was sleeping when they brought me, but they said that I needed to be, that I needed to get up, um, to get out of the bed to walk over, and so I got out, and I walked over, and so, after I walked over, I, like, sat on the bed, I laid down, and that was kind of the story. Overall, I'm fine, I'm here, I'm okay, lots of learn. There's a couple other things that happened, that are details that are not meant to be shared, that's only for me to know. But, I'm not comfortable sharing those things yet, maybe once in the future. But. It's definitely a big deal. So, yeah, I'm fine now. Everything's okay. Everything's great. But, yeah, so that's that story. That was fun. Um, so, yeah, I almost died literally right then and there. Because all the nurses put together, there was, like, I think 10, 10, like, or 15, 10 to 15 nurses in my room, I'm trying to say. But, I don't know how they brought me back. But, I'm okay. I had, like, a bit trouble breathing. Like, I was done so but i'm okay now that's all about it so yeah so that is my whole story guys i hope you all i hope you enjoyed this video so i'm gonna do my story what happened when i was five now thanks so much for watching